you're thinking about visiting the British Virgin Islands in the Caribbean, but you're not 100% sure where to go, what to see, and where to stay, then you're in the right place, and I got all that covered in today's episode. We will show you some of the most beautiful places the BBS has to offer. If you're new here, my name is Camilla, and I'm a travel photographer, and I make travel videos from all over the world here on YouTube. I'm here to inspire your next adventure and find the best places for you to stay around the world. John and I have been going to the US Virgin Islands for the past eight years, so we're beyond excited to finally bring you along to the British Virgin Islands. Now, grab your sunscreen, flip-flops, and let's dive into this unreal landscape. Today's video is in collaboration with Safety Wing, and we will talk more about them later. First and foremost, let's talk about a game changer for your trip, renting a boat and exploring the British Virgin Islands like a seasoned explorer. We got the perfect captain for you, meet Captain Christian from Let's Play Virgin Islands, a local company that knows these waters like the back of their hand. We finally made it to the British Virgin Islands and it's thanks to this guy. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Christian, let's play VI boat charters. Let's play VI. Yes, sir. What do you offer? Anywhere on the water, scuba diving, kiteboarding, private boat tours, private guiding, anything that's outdoors, very unique. I'll cater to you guys, I'll customize your day. I'm just out to have a good time with you guys, become friends, make connections forever. I'm just showing you my backyard. And that's what I'm doing with these guys. I'm sharing what I've learned in the last 15 years that I've been out here. Christian has now become our good friend and we just trust him. We just charge our batteries for the camera and the drone and then we just jump on his boat and he takes us to places like this. That's it, no questions asked. <laughs> charge your batteries, have an open mind. And... I'm like, where are we going? He's like, I'll show you. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay. So if you want to be on this super secluded island, this is the guy that's going to take you there. From handling customs to showing you secret spots, Captain Christian has got you covered. So with your boat and captain secured, let's move on to the next one and see what island you should visit. Now, we can't talk about the Virgin Islands without mentioning Joes Van Dyke, a paradise within a paradise. Kick back and relax and feel the sand between your toes at iconic spots like Foxy's, Soggy Dollar, Pinkies, and Hendo's Hideout. The laid-back vibe, crystal clear waters, and delicious cocktails make this a must-visit destination. The original. Trust us, you're not gonna want to leave this place. Next up, we're taking you to the stunning Virgin Gorda, where a unique natural wonders awaits: the baths. This is paradise. We finally made it to the Bats, and that is probably one of the most famous locations in all of the Virgin Islands. It's basically the Seychelles of our region, and it's only like three, four hours away from New York, which is incredible that you can get a sea landscape like this. I've never seen anything like it. Right now, we are at Virgin Gorda on the West End, and we're doing a little tour together with Christian. It's so cool. You literally take the boat, and then you have to swim from the boat, and then you start the tour, at the end of the island and then you go all the way to the end so you go through like all these tunnels like you get to really like up close to the boulders it's just the beginning and i'm already super overwhelmed just because all this looks so incredibly good so yeah we'll take you through and then you'll see if you want to do a tour like this look at this these massive granite boulders form breathtaking grottos and pools creating a one-of-a-kind experience i could spend hours here really looks like Mars. It looks like somewhere on another planet. It reminds me of Dune, Star Wars, and it's just actually incredible. Climb, swim, and explore the extraordinary geological masterpiece. It's like entering another world. Mm -hmm. 
before we move on to the next activity, I'm so excited to introduce today's partner of the video, Safety Wing. If you're like me and you are a last minute planner, you book your tickets a few days before you travel or you forget to buy travel insurance, then Safety Wing got your back. Honestly, it's never been simpler. You can book your insurance while you're on the plane or even if you landed at the airport, you can book it when you're in your destination as well. I'm here right now in St. Thomas, meaning I could have booked my insurance right now if I needed to. It's so flexible, you don't even need to know what country you're going to or for how many days. They have great customer support. Honestly, I've tried it and like the response time is less than 45 seconds. If you're scared of getting sick with COVID or if you're scared like biking or diving or any other things out when you're traveling, that's where Safety Wing comes in to help you to make your trip a lot easier. You can just end your insurance at any time. Thank you so much to Safety Wing for partnering on today's video. And now let's go back to the Caribbean. If you're looking for a slice of paradise with a touch of luxury, Coco Maya on Virgin Island is your spot. This place was my favorite restaurant in all of Virgin Islands. They even had a separate vegan menu. I was in heaven. We ordered almost everything on the menu, edamame, dumpling, noodles, and I would go back to the BBI's just for this food. This beachfront restaurant and lounge offers an unforgettable dining experience. Picture this, amazing cuisine, toes in the sand, and the soothing sound of waves crashing nearby. It was pure bliss. The vibe here was also immaculate, and the service was really good, and the DJ, he was one of the best ones we've ever listened to. It was so much fun, and it was a great vibe. <laughs> Number five, and our favorite on the list, look at this. Welcome to Anagata Island. This looks like the Maldives, and I want to stay here forever. This tiny island is a hidden gem in the Virgin Islands. This off-the-beaten path destination is perfect for the adventurous souls out there. But keep in mind, it can be pretty wet and bumpy ride to get there. It's literally in the middle of the ocean. But when you arrive there, you forget everything because you're in paradise. We're approaching Anagata. I would love to stay there a few more days as it's so hard to get out there and it's so beautiful. There are actually a few places you can stay on the island, but do your own research to make sure they're open. Where are we? We are at Calrec on Anagata Island. And now I'm just making some drinks for everybody. Non-alcoholic, alcoholic. If you're friendly enough, you can make your own drink. Really? Yeah. Oh that is actually you guys. <laughs> when it's not in season, there's not even a person here with the basket and you just leave your money. It's hard to explain how amazing this place is and the footage does not do justice. It's just so stunning. Snorkelers and divers will also be in awe of the vibrant coral reefs and diverse marine life. And for all you beach lovers, the secluded and pristine beaches here are an absolute dream come true. I think I was crying a little bit because I was so happy. <laughs> Ready for some exclusive island vibes? Number six, say hello to the brand new Saba Rock Resort. It's located on its own private island and it's so unique. We drove by the island during the day and it looks so stunning. We however visited at night for a late dinner and Christian gave us a little tour of the tiny island before we sat down for dinner. We visited during off season, but during winter, this place becomes packed to the rim and it's hard to get a reservation. You can stay at the hotel here too and they have docking for your boat as well. This place is simply stunning and its rebirth after Hurricane Irma in 2017 is a true testament to the resilience of the British Virgin Islands. Get ready for an unforgettable time filled with luxury, breathtaking views, and an ambiance that will leave you in awe. Moving on to number seven, are you ready for a Robinson Crusoe experience? We got something extraordinary for you, the Sandy Spit Sandbank. I'm getting so excited when I'm telling you about these places because this is just unreal. 
This untouched stretch of sand in the middle of the sea is an ideal spot for relaxation and tranquility. It's like having your own private island. So pack your picnic, bring your favorite book, and let the worries drift away on this empty slice of heaven. Christian let me and John off so we could enjoy the sandbank for a while, and wow, what an incredible experience. If you are in this area, you just have to visit. Last but not least, where you stay matters, and we have some fantastic options for you. Firstly, we found the most stunning and unique stay in the BVI's, the Diamond Reef Estate. Nestled in the lush hills of the small private island of Great Camino, you can find this luxurious accommodation with breathtaking views of the Caribbean Sea. It can sleep up to 14 people and the property is massive with rooms spread across the estate so you don't feel cramped at all. This is honestly the perfect place to stay for couples and you can even rent this place for an intimate destination wedding, wow renewal, or something more holistic like a wellness retreat. Our second option for accommodations are these beautiful new luxury bungalows at Jos van Dyke at Hendo's Hideout. We were so lucky and we got a tour of the property in the bungalows and they're absolutely stunning. They have outdoor pools, massive beds, and stunning bathrooms. It's also located right on the beach and next to a restaurant, so you literally have everything you need. We definitely want to come back and stay here for a few days. Lastly, is more of an overall suggestion. There are tons of places to stay at Virgin Gorda too, like inside the baths. Imagine how nice it would be to stay there. I definitely want to do that too. <laughs> and Virgin Gorda was definitely one of my favorite islands. Other than that, we also saw a few places you could stay at Anagata Island, Tortola, and Joe's Van Dyke. The options are endless, and so can the prices be. There you have it guys, that wraps up our top 8 things to do in the British Virgin Islands. I hope this was helpful and I hope you're as thrilled as us about this incredible adventure. Please let me know what other places we should visit next in Virgin Islands. I'm so happy and excited that we finally made it to the PBIs and I'm excited to hear what you guys think of this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, happy exploring and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!